welcome back to my channel. Today I am sharing my bullet journal supplies that I use for bullet journaling on a budget. Now I am quite new to bullet journaling. I only did start it this year and I will pop up a bunch of videos above and down below so that you can check out my plan with me's. I usually do one a month and I also have a video of the review that I made for the Lamoom bullet journal, which has been amazing. I just love this bullet journal so much. So go check out that review that I have on this. I do a whole unboxing and everything. And then I also have a video of how I set up my bullet journal, like the beginning pages, the whole like yearly view, maybe goals that I have. So go check out all of those. This video is for me to show you just some of the basic supplies that I have in order to bullet journal and you know not break the bank because i know a lot of people that are really into bullet journaling you know they love going out and getting supplies but one of the reasons why i started to bullet journal is because i was buying you know like stickers i had the happy planner and i just felt like i was always trying to buy more things to make my planner useful and I really love bullet journaling because I can change it up if something isn't working for me and I don't have to stick to like, you know, a specific planner. Really quick, if you aren't following me, I will pop my Instagram up on the screen so that you can go follow me. I usually post pictures of my monthly layouts and my weekly layouts in my bullet journal. So go ahead and follow me there and let's go ahead and get into the video. The first thing that you're going to need is a bullet journal. And like I said, I did a review on this one and I absolutely love it. Go check out that review because this bullet journal is only $14. I think I even bought it for a little less, but when I checked last, um, it's $14. And I have that linked below down on Amazon. And I just absolutely love this one. And the paper quality is really good, especially compared to some of the bullet journals that are $20 or $30 or whatever. And so the only thing, the only downside is that it does not have numbered pages. Um, and so if that's important to you, I mean, you can just number them. I actually chose not to number them. So, you know, it really does not matter to me. But one thing I really love is this pen hole. Like I've been using this now for a couple months. So even if you've watched my review, like I absolutely love this pen hole. I just love it. And so I, you know, my planner has not fallen apart. I know there are some reviews where it has fallen apart, but mine has not. I have had no problems with this planner whatsoever. I'm definitely going to, like when I finish this one, I'm going to buy it from the exact same brand again. This is the first supply that you're going to need. Now the next supply that you're going to want to have is obviously some pens. Now I know there's so many different pens. A lot of people use like midliners and I don't know, I'm not, you know, I'm not an artist, so I don't know exactly all the different kinds of pens that are out there, but I wanted to find something that wouldn't smudge on my pages but was still like kind of a fine line so that I would be able to write. I got these Sharpie pens and they are amazing. Like they do not bleed through the pages. They do not smudge at all. They are absolutely amazing. I love these things. Like I am definitely, I think I bought like a four pack maybe at Walmart just for, I think it was less than $5. Crazy, crazy. I cannot believe how well these work. And so these are my go-to pen. I always keep one in my actual planner because it is my go-to. And so if you see inside, like I do all of my writing in this pen. I just, I, I love it. It is awesome. The other thing that I use for planning is a pencil, which I think one of my brothers just gave me this one, an eraser, which I think it was like a two pack that came for 50 cents at Walmart. When I'm doing my monthly planning, and I'm actually doing my layouts. I like to do it in pencil first. That way, if there's any erasing, I can go ahead and erase it without filling up all my pages with scribbles. So to me, this is kind of a necessity for bullet journaling, but you don't have to get it. You don't have to spend the 50 cents on an eraser if you do not want to. Now, if you do make mistakes, I got this white out roller and I think it came, I think you can get it in a one or two pack at Walmart and it's just a couple dollars. And I do like to have this just in case when I am writing something in, if, I, if I'm writing it in pen and I make a mistake, I can easily use this to erase it. And to me, it is a necessity because I like to keep my bullet journal looking nice. I got these Crayola Super Tip markers and I actually got 
the 50 pack so i have a whole bunch like a whole bunch of different colors in my little planner box and so these were what i got instead of getting like those expensive calligraphy pens especially since i'm not good at hand lettering yet these actually have a tip that you can use um where it can get thick and thin so these are actually really nice and i like all the different colors I don't use them super often. Usually I use them in my actual like monthly layout and that way I can just add color. But I realized that when I'm actually doing my weekly layouts, I like to just stick with my Sharpie pen instead of adding a whole bunch of colors in just because my Sharpie pen goes with me with my planner and I just really like it. So I do love these Crayola Super Tips. This is definitely a way cheaper investment. Even getting the 50 pack, I think was less than eight or nine dollars I think and so they also come I think in a 20 pack and a hundred pack depending upon how many colors you want but they're great like you can use them to color in your habit tracker you can use them for decoration if you're good at calligraphy you can use them for that as well and then last but not least before I got my bullet planner I was actually in love with these paper mate flare pens and I actually have a bunch of different colors um, I do have them in the medium, so I feel like if you had them in the fine ones, it would be better for bullet journaling just because you write smaller, but I do still use these occasionally for my bullet journal, and I just love the colors, and they do not bleed in your bullet journal. All right, you guys, so there you have it. There's my only, the only supplies that I use for my bullet journal. Literally, you can get all this stuff for, like, you know, less than 30 or $40 if you're buying the bullet journal and all the supplies that you'll ever need. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did, and I'll see you on my next video. Bye, guys. You may call it in this evening, but you've only lost the night. Preset all your prayers.